Good morning, people. How y'all doing this morning? Oh, got a long hair up there doing something weird. Um, the the Washington passed the stimulus plan. Nine hundred billion dollars. Just think. Not million. Nine hundred billion dollars. There are 300 and approximately 320 to 350 million people in the United States. And not nowhere near them are going to get this stimulus package, this whole $600. I'm not trying to be snarky to people that $600 means a lot to. I'm not trying to be snarky there at all. $600 to a lot of people is their rent. Um, but the problem I have is not the $600 we're given to people in need. It's the, what was it, $26 million were given to the Kennedy Center. $1 billion were given to the Smithsonian. You've got people like the lady in L.A. that owns the little bar that's going broke. you got people here in my town that are wondering how they're going to make ends meet. We have people becoming homeless all over the United States because they can't work. Not because they don't want to work, but because and we're given to the Smithsonian, the Kennedy Center, the Natural Art Museums, and don't get me wrong, I agree, we need the arts and, and all of this. I'm one that appreciates all of that. But let me bring it down to you. My budget is nowhere near this. You've, but if you took off quite a few zeros, it'd be real close. Um, take it back down to a five figure in, instead of billions of dollars and you would have where I live. Now, just imagine if, no, I can't even imagine it. $26 million to the Kennedy Center so they can get up there and pat themselves on the back of what all they've done. Let me put it to you this way. When, well, now. Not necessarily years ago. Now. Um, budget is tight. When I say the budget is tight. It's tight. Uh, but if instead of paying my rent. I went out and got a new car. Nothing wrong with getting a new car. Need a new car. Nothing wrong with it. But then what do I do, turn and tell the, the, the person that owns the building where my business is? You know, I know you needed your, your lease money, but look what I got. Look what I did. They're doing the same thing to the American people. And our great representative, Brian Babin, wants to act like they did something wonderful. You know, I didn't like him the first time I met him because he creeps in a door. I can't stand a man that creeps in a door. It's a, it's a little pet peeve with me. I have no respect for a man that creeps in a door. Open the damn door and walk in. It's just, it's just, just a little thing with me. He's a creeper, which means he has no backbone. Brian Babbin's probably a really nice man. Um, 
Jimmy Carter was a really nice man. He was total failure at being president, but he's a really nice man. Joe Biden is probably a really nice man. I don't want a really nice man in Washington. I cannot believe. I cannot believe. Our country is hurting financially. And we're giving all these other countries billions of dollars? What the hell, people? What the hell? Nancy Pelosi wants to act like she did something wonderful because she gave American citizens $600? $600 won't buy the groceries a month for an average family. You gave them $600 while you gave the Kennedy Center $26 million. You gave the Smithsonian a billion dollars. A billion dollars. Y'all could have given every person in the United States a million dollars. And it wouldn't amount to nowhere near this. That would have just been $327 million. That would have stimulused the income. Instead, you went across the ocean and gave it to them. I've so had it with our government. I have so, so had it with our government. Completely. I don't care who you are. I don't care who you are. There is not one soul in Washington that gives one rat's ass about the American people. They, they may when they're running for office, but by God, when they get up there, they start drinking the Kool-Aid. Not one of them has missed a paycheck. While businesses are closing, but they're going to give you $600. Aren't you happy? They're giving you $600. They'll give the businesses a loan to help with their payroll. That's good. How are we going to keep the lights on? When I read that last night, the amount of fury that went from my head to my toes, I cannot explain. One billion dollars to the Smithsonian. That's over and above what they get already. That's over and above what they get yearly from the, from the United States government. The National Art Gallery, over $100 million. I don't even know what the W.W. Wilson Center is. What is that that they gave $14 million to? $1 billion to the Smithsonian while the American people are hurting while I can't afford health insurance, absolutely can't afford, and the plan that I can afford, I can't afford to use. Y'all gave a billion dollars to the Smithsonian. $26.4 million to the Kennedy Center. While the American people are losing their businesses. Small businesses are losing their businesses because they can't afford to keep the doors open. People can't afford insurance. And I don't want I don't want it given to me. I don't want a national health care plan. 
I just want an insurance plan that's affordable, that is affordable to use. The fact you can get an insurance plan that would run you three to four hundred dollars a month, okay, I can go that. But it's got a twenty thousand dollar deductible, so I'm paying three hundred dollars a month for something I'll never be able to use. Something's got to be done, folks. Something's got to be done. Washington no longer, well, they haven't for quite some time. But this is a slap in the American people's face. I don't care if you're Democrat. I don't care if you're what you are. I don't care. This should be a slap in your face. This should totally piss you off. The only reason why this wouldn't piss you off is if you're one of the beneficiaries of any one of those those people that got so much money. And I guarantee you, if you track it back down, it all stays in Washington. The American people won't see any of it. Um, when a grant is given to a city, because I know this, I've worked on one before, you have to prove where you use that money. Um, I'll bring it down even a little bit tighter. The hotel tax money that a city receives that it's given to um, area organizations to bring more uh, uh, tourism to their city. When you submit a plan and ask for X amount of dollars and they award that to you, you have a short period of time to present receipts showing where you used that money frugally and diligently and you accounted for every penny. One billion dollars while you're losing your business, while you're worrying how to feed your family, while you're trying to figure out how to do what while you're recovering from COVID, your government unanimously gave $900, million, $900 billion away. And they gave you $600. Who's going to pay for that? Who's going to pay for the, the, the stimulus package? Who's going to pay for that? Where's that money going to come from? You know where that money's going to come from? They're going to borrow it from China. If every person in the United States gave a million dollars, it wouldn't be a drop in the bucket to pay in this back would be an insult. That would be like if you owed me a thousand dollars and you brought me a dollar. Here, I'm going to start paying you back with this dollar. It's what they did. 